Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ryan from Kirby's U9 here, and today we're gonna review the uh, Griffin reveal. Not review, reveal. Yeah. We're gonna review the Griffin reveal iPod Touch 5th generation case and see what I think of it. It's gonna be pretty short, but let's see what I think of it. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started with the review. Kirby plus Pikachu equals. Kirby 2-9! So the Griffin reveal case is basically a clear back cover and case for the iPod Touch 5th generation. Now it's pretty easy to install, and actually it's really, really, really easy to install. First, you, and I usually do is I put the button side first, because, you know, I just want to get out of the way. <laughs> I just want to, that's because I feel like it, but... So, um, you just put it button side first and push down, and boom, that's pretty much all you need to do to install it. And it gives this kind of lip here, which which kind of helps if you put it on a, on the uh, surface 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 surface. Uh, it won't scratch the screen. Like if you, it'll help with drops too. See, look, it doesn't scratch the screen. Yeah, I was daring enough to do that. I'm a rebel. And um, so if you take a look to the back, this is where the real point of the case comes. It's a clear case, and unfortunately, as of this filming, I think it only comes in black, so you can't get it in like yellow or yellow, yellow, the, the yellowish green, like my iPod Touch right here. And you can see it has a uh, cutout for the camera, and the cutout cut includes the microphone and the flash. Now again, it covers the whole. Now, now here it has the whole entire back. It's free, clear. What the iPod Touch I think is meant to be. It's meant to be shown off because you get color choices for a reason. And, um, again, you can see the Apple logo from here and all that literature and stuff. And now down here is a cutout for the iPod Touch loop, which is basically, um, which is the wrist strap that comes with the iPod Touch. And it's kind of hard to, you can't really, like, strap it, strap it on from the case. You have to take the case off and you have to attach it to the loop. And you have to attach the loop to the button and then you have to kind of, like, mess around and try to get the the loop through the hole and do some like weird kind of things but you know I, I can't I don't really use the loop anymore because the loop before I actually had the case it acted at it functioned as a case but now that I have this case I don't have any need for it anymore because this thing has a really good grip to it that I'm not gonna let go of it really easy and speaking of grip this uh it does add um it this has a like rubber kind of feel the edges right here like it's really rubble, rubber silicone or something like that and it feels really good in the hand and it adds on the site it, it says it adds 1.6 millimeters to the thinness of the iPod touch and the iPod touch is already 6.1 millimeters thin so 6.1 adding, adding 1.6 millimeters to it would be 7.7 .7 millimeters thick which uh, is a mil, one millimeter uh, thicker than the iPhone 5 so Take that into consideration because it does feel like an iPhone 5. I've tested one out in stores. Of course, I don't have an iPhone, but this is the closest I can get. And um, and speaking of the thickness, the Apple Touch, um, I'm gonna I probably kind of criticize it for being a little bit too thin because uh, without without the case, it's a little too thin for me to ca to carry. Kind of lost some of that premium feel, but now with this kind of thicker body, it's easier for me to hold and it's easier for me to like fit in my pocket or anything. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And one big gripe I have with the case is the bottom here. Now, the bottom here is, um, there's no covering at all. It's a headphone jack, the lightning connector, the speaker port, nothing's covered. See, um, a big problem with that is that in the lightning ports, at least, at least maybe they could have, should, should have put a flap or something, or something to protect it, because you can see hairs and dirt in it. Of course, it doesn't, um, affect any of the performance of it at all, but just something to keep in mind. And, um... They have on Jack, I don't know about that one, but it could probably get dirt in it too. And I just wish they could have covered at least some of it, like, like surrounded the, the sides of it with the kind of rubber, but uh, to keep it at least a little bit protected. Because other cases, they have it around the whole entire body of the iPod, and this is like the only take the case that I know that just cuts it off right here. But a good thing about that is that you can take it off real easy by just pinching off the sides and pushing the iPod up. But still, the bad kind of outweighs the good. I would I would much rather have more a more protected iPod than an easier to take off case. So if if that makes any sense to you. 
So uh, that's gonna be it for the probably gonna be it for the Griffin reveal case. Again, I really like it, and um, yeah. So that's gonna be it for the Griffin reveal case. So that's gonna be it for my review of the Griffin reveal case. Review reveal. Uh, for the iPod Touch 5th generation, and I am using the iPod Touch 5th generation to record this because this is testing out the 720p FaceTime HD camera. So you can see, you can't see some pixels, but you know, it is really good. I'll cover that in the next video, which is probably going to be an iPod Touch review or the Kingdom Hearts 3D review, uh, 3D walkthrough. But overall, my opinions of this case is really good, really solid. Uh, you can buy this straight off of Amazon or Walmart or the actual Griffin Technology Store. And also, I forgot to tell you guys that there is a Griffin logo right about here. Griffin. And the buttons uh, feel a lot better than they do on the actual iPod Touch. Which is like, okay, um, and they actually cover it. And they actually cover it. So, or, or, there we go. Okay. So, um, my overall opinion of this case, really solid. And I like, oh, it's $18 off of Walmart, Amazon, and the Griffin Technology Store. So, um... I really, if you have an iPod Touch 5th generation and you need a case, I really strongly suggest this one. The, gra the back can get scratched up though, so that's something to consider, but you can't really notice them because you're not looking at the back all day, you're looking at the screen, so um, if that made any sense to you. So uh, that's going to be it for the Griffin Reveal case. I really, really like this case. The only gripe with it, again, as I told you, is that at least they could have maybe covered up some of the things, maybe just like like, just not leave it, like, totally barren, the the bottom of the iPod, just, I just wish they wouldn't have made it, like, totally barren, and I really apologize if the last segment of the video, the last part, is kind of, got kind of lower quality, because, um, I'm trying to do some editing stuff, and it kind of went down, and, yeah, just kind of broke and stuff, so I hope that you guys enjoyed the uh, video, the next video is going to be of Kingdom Hearts, 3D Part 3, I think. I'm going to be posting it tomorrow. And the next next video is probably going to be of the iPod Touch 5th Generation actual review. Kind of a one-year anniversary thing. This is all part of a one-year anniversary. The, K the Kingdom Hearts 3D thing is one years old. The uh, iPod Touch and the case is one years old. So so be prepared for that. So I'm Kirby, I'm Ryan from Kirby 9 who has a haircut. And so I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.